What's up everyone? Welcome to Program Your Remote. Today we're going to be doing a cabin air filter change on a 2020 Toyota Sienna. Like I said, this is a 2020 model here, but it will be the same on several different years. So the cabin air filter is going to be located behind the glove box. In order to access it, we need to open the glove box. And if we look on the right hand side, we're going to see this latch right here. We need to pull that off straight to our right. Like that. Once you have that undone, we need to uh, finish taking the glove box off the rest of the way. What we're going to need to do is push in on the sides, and that's going to allow it to come down. And at the same time, we're going to want to push up with one hand here, and then push in on the side. Come over here to do the same thing. As we're pushing up, we'll push in on the side. That's going to allow that to come down. And what we were doing there is pushing it in enough just to clear these stops right here. So once you do that, that's going to allow that to come down and it'll sit on the hinges or we can just go ahead and pull it off like that. Now, if we take a closer look under here, we're going to see this item that has up on it. That's actually the door to the cabin filter, the access door. And there's going to be these two clips on either side. Pinch that, come over here the same thing so once you get that uh, access door off we can actually see the filter right here and there's something I want to point out on this filter that can be pretty confusing and that if you notice this is an OEM style filter so it just has the arrow pointing up and it says up and on this filter that's telling you that it just needs to be stalled, installed with that side up that is not the airflow direction if you have an aftermarket filter that says airflow and has an arrow, you want the airflow going down. So if yours says airflow with an arrow, you want that arrow going down. If there's simply just an arrow with the word up, then you want it installed like this. Okay? So once you get your new um, filter in there, right side up, you're just gonna reverse everything we just did. Throw that access door back on. Put your glove, back, glove box back on. You just line up these hinges to here. Flip it up. The When you push it up, you won't have to push the sides in. You'll be able to just push that glove box all the way up. And then reattach your latch. So that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out. And I'd appreciate it. Thank you.